Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about Azure SQL Active Azure application feature. So basically, this feature Active Azure application is at database level, not at the server level. This is helpful when we are configuring the Active uh, business continuity for our application. So what's hap what happened basically in this feature? For let's understand with with the help of this diagram. So suppose we have a primary region, it could be anywhere, Central India, uh, East, East Asia or anywhere in the world. The primary region, we, have, we create a database server and we create a database. Now, in this, as soon as we create an active geo application, anyways, we have to choose a secondary region where our the database replication will happen. So in secondary region, again, this could be the anywhere in the world, but it could be the paired, like the primary region should be paired with the secondary region. And you can see the list of all the paired region in Microsoft Azure, Microsoft documentation. They, they, are, they have very well explained what all the features, what are the uh, regions they have paired. So as soon as you create an active Azure application, what happened? Whatever the data we have in primary database, that will be replicated to the secondary database. But this is only the read-only database. You cannot write anything on secondary database. You can only fetch the data. So it's only the read-only database here. And when you create an active Azure application, you have to create a secondary database server in a other region. Or you can also use a primary region as well. Like it's not compulsory. You have to choose a different region to, to enable the active Azure application. You can utilize a primary region as well because this is a database level uh, feature. So there are a few important points which we have to understand. So active your application let you perform quick disaster recovery of individual database. So as I discussed, it is database level feature. If you have four database, then you have to create a four active your application for each databases. If there is a, a regional disaster or large scale outage. So as in the case of disaster recovery, if something goes wrong, uh, wrong with your primary region, then you can replicate that you can utilize uh, the secondary region where you have replicated your data active your application allow you to create a readable secondary database as we discussed the secondary region where we have replicated our database that that database will be only read only you can only fetch the data you cannot write anything on that database this database would be based on the primary database anyways uh, uh, for sure because we are replicating data from the primary database so this will be based on primary database only. The secondary database can be on same server or different server so it is not mandatory you have to create a secondary server uh, as well you can utilize the primary server as well for uh, replication replicated database so it is not compulsory you have to create or uh, two regions like primary and secondary but in the case of business continuity it is always a good practice you create uh, your you create your replication between two regions so in the case of disaster if something goes wrong with one data center or one region then you have your data in the another region because on the same same time it, it is not possible or uh, like or, or both the data both the regions will be will suffer from the outage the important part here this feature is not supported for azure sql managed instance so this is if we, this is this feature is not supported by the azure sql managed instances if you are using and active your application is configured per database as we already discussed the only supports manual failover whenever you have to replicate uh, you have to replicate uh, or like fail over to your second database then you have to do it manually it is not a there is no automatic process and this is a database lever as, as we told so let's quickly move to the demo and we will create a one sql server and when we create a new database and then we will try to uh, create a replication of that database with the help of active your application feature so let me move to my azure portal Let me quickly search Azure SQL database.
so resource type single database we are choosing here let me go from a uh, direct search box so here we will search sql database sorry first we have to create a sql server then we have to create a sql database so let's quickly create a sql server first so this is my subscription pay as you go resource group is demo and the server name uh, let me give primary db and this name should be unique so let's put some number here okay location i'll choose for this central india okay so here we have central india and authentication mode i'll choose uh, sql authentication let me give username and password here So I'm leaving everything is default because we are majorly focusing on uh, active your application feature. So let me quickly review and create. So it will take couple of minutes. Let's wait. Okay, so deployment is completed. Let me go to resources and we'll go to SQL database. So as of now we don't have any database so let's create a sql database as well so database name let me choose uh, let's me give a name primary tv and this is the server which we have created okay i am choosing the development workload environment and rest of the things i'll keep it default so in networking okay let's leave it default we will configure it later once we create the database So it will take couple of minutes to create the database. Okay, so database is created. Let's go to resources. Now what we will do, we will connect this database from our local system. This is my uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Let me give here the server name and the username and password which we have configured. Okay, so public access is denied so let me configure the firewall firewall rule for this so what i will do i will add my uh, client ip here so let me let me go to server and here i'll go to networking and public access i'll choose selected network and here what i will do i will add my client ip address this is my uh, system ip address let me save it okay so let me go back to again my sql server management studio let's try to connect here so you can see now we have connected and let's see the database this is the primary db which we have created now we want to replicate this particular database to the another region so as of now we don't have any tables if i go to table we don't have any table so let's create a data, uh, table first and we will insert some uh, data that's that's how basically we will understand okay the application is working or not so let me go to my visual studio code so i'm going to create a table called fruits
table is created and I am insert, inserting three rows here basically. So, and let's check if uh, these tables has been created successfully or not. So you can see F1 uh, fruit ID, F1 fruit ID, F2, F3 and this is the fruits name apple, mango and orange. Now after we create the enable the active your application then we will again try to insert uh, one more row and this particular all the F1, F2, F3 should be replicated to the another database. So let me go to my Azure portal. and I will go to SQL Server database. So here we have uh, under data, data management you can see the replicas. So this is what we have to create to enable the active geo replication. So let's create a replica, create replica. And you can see uh, the initial data project data, it is already filled with the primary database and region. And this is the database. And now we have to create a secondary data, uh, region and database. So let me quickly create a new and here I will give a name secondary DB and region I will let me choose so East Asia and authentication again I will use SQL Server authentication so let me uh, give you a name username and password and click on OK now I'll go to networking Let me click on yes, additional settings, review and create. So it will take a couple of minutes. Let's wait. So now replicas deployment is completed. Let's go to resources. So now you can see the secondary database. If, if I'll go back to SQL server. So now you can see there are two servers. This is one is the primary database server and another one is SQL, uh, second database server. And the low region you can see the, this first we have created Central India and after as soon as we created our replicas it is it automatically created the secondary database East Asia and if I'll go back to uh, SQL database as well so now you can see uh, the primary DB and this is the replica uh, of this primary DB which is created and you can see replica type here let me geo replication and if I will go to uh, primary DB, let's verify if uh, the tables has been uh, replicated to this particular region or not. So let me go to the server. So this is the primary database which we have connected, uh, sorry DB server and let's quickly connect for the secondary as well. So here what is happening basically uh, this for this particular server as well we are adding our client IP addresses. So now you can see the secondary database is also connected. Let's quickly verify the table first. So let me go to database. So you can see the primary DB is already replicated and if I drop down sorry expand it and if I go to tables. So we have your DB fruits table. So let's quickly uh, execute a query on this particular uh, database. So we have F1, F2 and F3 in both the places. So this is the primary one and this is the second database which is uh, replicated. Now what I will do, I will insert one more row in the primary database. Let me close this one.
new query and uh, I will add one more table here so here I will change name f3 to f4 and let me put here orange 1 and let me execute the query so one row affected now quickly verify let me copy it uh, select star from fruits so now we have here four rows f1 f2 f3 and f4 and same things we will verify uh, on the secondary database Now here you we can also see the data has been replicated. So that's how basically uh, we configured Active Viewer application for Azure SQL database to keep our uh, application up and running in the case of any event or disaster. So our application will not affect. And one more thing, once when you delete, when you remove the Active Viewer application from the database label from here, if I'll remove it. If I'll forcefully stop it, but you have to delete it from manually from the the sub, separate uh, database server because if you stop it, let me stop the application. It will not going to remove uh, the secondary server in DB for you because it keeps like uh, maybe in future you you again you have to require uh, the Azure application which is it's always good you have to manually go and delete your database server from for the both uh, for the secondary region so so let i have stopped the geo application let me go back and again execute the query so let me close it and quickly disconnect it and connect it again If I'll go to database now still we can see primary DB because it is already replicated it is not removed so it's always a good practice if you want to uh, remove the primary or oh, sorry uh, replicated uh, database you have to manually go and delete it so that's how basically uh, we configured the active geo replication in next video we will see uh, the feature called failover group which we have at server level so that's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.